Here all, I would like to welcome you all in the Bell Stock Basic Electrical Engineering Laboratory. In this video, I am going to discuss what are the probable questions which can be asked for Vibhavo section in the experiment of verification of KVL and KCL. I think you already familiar the experiment. Before answering Vibha, you can you can think about what about the nature of the experiment and uh, what about the setup all those things you have to keep in your mind however let us proceed what are the different type of questions you may get in the viva -va section first in the foremost you can think about simple questions uh, right from the beginning what do you mean by uh, electricity so this will be the first kind of question electricity is nothing but the movement of electrons then what are the type of electricity there are two type of electricity so two types what are the two types see one is static you can note on this static type electricity another is current electricity okay so you may note down this then what are the types of current electricity there are two type of current electricity yes of course number one dc direct current another one is called alternating current okay what are the differences between dc and ac so in case of dc what is the speciality of dc the quantity will not change with respect to time that is the speciality of dc if i talk about ac the magnitude or the quantity that is varying with respect to time that you can convince very easily with a simple diagram if necessary while going for a viva so carry some bit of paper okay whatever the answer book you are provided please carry that so that you can able to mark accordingly so another question what are the applications of dc one is battery then vacuum tube then it is used in the motor dc motor in cinema theater projector all those things are the examples of dc circuit what about ac circuit where is application in power system ac power system one of the example ac supply which is available all those things you can explain so what are the factors affecting the resistance you know the resistance is directly proportional to the length of material resistance is uh, inversely proportional to area of cross section if you want you can write collectively r is proportional to l by a so to remove the proportionality constant uh, you can use a constant called resistivity or specific resistance it is denoted by the letter rho okay rho is known as specific resistance or resistivity rho that point you can note down specific resistance specific resistance or you can call it as resistivity what is a unit unit will be ohm meter so these are the important questions you can expect uh, in kvl kcl let us continue moving further so you can note down these points that will really helpful for answering the viva effectively you know it's very important for answering viva okay most of most students are not much serious about this kind of viva was question but uh, you should be serious then another type of questions from this first experiment what are the different limitations of ohm's law and the statements of ohm's law you need to study what is ohm's law okay so at least voltage is directly proportional to the current v is directly proportional to current at constant temperature and pressure okay what are the drawbacks of ohm's law it is not suitable for insulators then semiconductors okay like that you can mention kcl you have to explain what is kcl at a particular junction the algebraic sum of current meeting at a node or a junction that will be equal to zero or at a particular junction if i take a junction as a reference the sum of incoming current will be equal to outgoing current what do you mean by kvl k 
KVL is applicable for a closed loop, right? In a closed loop, the algebraic sum of voltage drop and the EMF will be equal to zero. So current division formula, you can directly say that it is applicable for parallel circuit. Okay, parallel circuit. If you want, you can write the formula. Voltage division is suitable for series circuit. That is very important. Correct. So if you want, you can draw a simple circuit and you can explain how the how what is the formula. Okay, total current you have to calculate, then resistance of the opposite branch divided by total value of resistance. In case of voltage division rule, total voltage you have to calculate, then resistance corresponding to that branch divided by the sum of resistance of total branch. Uh, how does voltmeter connect in a particular circuit? Voltmeter always connect in parallel, okay, or shunt. What about ammeter? So ammeter always connect in series, correct? What do you mean by RPS? RPS is nothing but regulated, regulated DC power supply. Okay, regulated DC power supply. That is the full form of RPS. Please make a note of this. Difference between moving MI and MC. What is MI? MI means moving iron type. Moving iron. That is called MI. What is MC? MC means moving coil. Moving coil. Can you tell me the significance? Yes. Moving iron. That is applicable for AC measurement. Moving coil is applicable for DC measurement. These points you have to remember because people are getting confusion regarding this. So electric power, work divided by time, that is called electric power. So let us continue the further discussion. So you have to answer in crisp and brief. Better answer in short. No need to elaborate further because it's a viva, right? Maximum 10 or 15 minutes at the maximum. So before that, you have to uh, produce the answer in a brief, crisp manner. Speak well, okay? Speak effectively. Then you have to recall and think what are the experience you have carried out, okay? And another question, how to represent the AC and DC circuit? In case of DC circuit, you have to mention about polarity, positive, negative. But AC circuit, no need to mention the polarity. So those things can be expected in the viva verse section and any type of interview, okay. Some basic questions can be expected. So prepare well. Let me know if you are having any queries. Finally, thank you for watching this video.